Eons from now, a long-forgotten evil will awaken within the planet's core and destroy it. It may not come as a surprise, but I love me a good anime aesthetic. And Blue Protocol is anime through and through. But more than just the art style, I like games that lean into their JRPG bona fides and push them to the forefront, which is why I found myself enjoying Blue Protocol so much during my brief time with it back during Summer of Gaming Play Days last month. The hyper anime styled MMO RPG from Bandai Namco leans way into its anime aesthetic to the point it promises you a chance to quote, become the hero of your very own anime adventure. The question is, will Blue Protocol actually allow me, a middle-aged dude who used to spend $30 on anime VHS cassettes in the 90s to live out my anime adventure dreams? Well, I'm leaning pretty heavily towards the yes column here because while my time with Blue Protocol was limited to a 45-ish minute demo, everything about it appealed to me and my latent anime dreams. After creating the look of my character, I picked from one of its five classes, Blade Warden, Twin Striker, Keen Strider, Spell Weaver, or Bow Breaker. I went with a Twin Striker class because honestly, I just, I just think it looks the coolest. After a brief scene where my character awakens from some manner of magical anime slumber, I had my first taste of Blue Protocol's battle system. This is an action RPG, and you attack enemies with a left mouse button and dodge their attacks with a control key. It's not quite an auto-battler because between dodging and attacking, I definitely felt like I was in control of the fight, but holding down the attack button does allow for constant attacks. I really need to point out, Blue Protocol is absolutely gorgeous. Seriously, it is one of the most beautiful anime style games I think I've ever played. It's everything I like about a game like Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but like turned up a notch. The colors and saturation of the scenery are just so appealing and the character animation is swift and fluid. And granted, I was playing on a demo computer, but I have to imagine that anime aesthetic overpowers all limitations. It just, it just looks incredible. I explored a valley, picking up resources and running through the eye-popping landscape, engaging in a few battles willy-nilly as I saw fit. I got pretty good at attacking and dodging the random foes I encountered, although maybe once I didn't do so great and had to respawn, but like, hey, I'm not afraid to admit it. Nobody's perfect. Once I did respawn, I joined the Dragon's Rive resurvey quest with five other players. I can't speak to them, but I had an absolute blast battling our way up the mountain. Combat in Blue Protocol, again, it just feels great. And while I won't say it's groundbreaking, it doesn't really have to be. It's novel, it's fast, and I felt like I was making a meaningful impact in my group's success with each encounter. But most of all, it's just fun as hell. I'm generally not an MMO type of guy, mostly because I know I tend to go a little uh, overboard when it comes to how I spend my free time. But uh, Blue Protocol has me seriously considering becoming one of those MMO guys. The combat is super fun, but aesthetically, oh my god, it checks all the boxes for me. Blue Protocol doesn't officially release until 2024, but you can sign up for the beta now on the game's official website. If you love a good anime, a fast-paced MMO, or some combination of both, Blue Protocol looks like it's got what you need. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN. <laughs>